Cook It Raw has grown to become an amalgamation of the greatest contemporary thinkers in the world of gastronomy. At each gathering, the chefs bring their unique knowledge to the table, and with what they learn and find on location, compose a dinner that acts as an ode to the environment that has hosted them. The chefs will arrive in Japan, and will leave the neon of Tokyo behind and visit the prefecture of Ishikawa. Here they will combine their arts and skills with the local ancient ways that remain prominent today, ways that are intrinsic to Japan. The Road to Roar is a series of short films that follow the creators of Cook It Roar as they discover the depths of Ishikawa Prefecture and find the path that would lead to Shokudo, the way of food. Satoumi. The Noto Peninsula is the most northerly part of Ishikawa and surrounded by the Sea of Japan. Terraced rice fields create a staircase from the hills down to the sea, and this is where Cook It Raw will experience Satoumi, the link between man and sea. On the Suzu coast, we find small communities of salt farmers that use ancient techniques to extract the salt from the Sea of Japan. Due to the low salinity of the water, they must first create a brine by filtering the seawater through a field of sand. I can't believe that only four people work in this farm. What a perfect example of how an age-old, low-energy tradition is still present in modern Japan. They then boil the brine in a cauldron, ensuring that they don't burn the salt. The farms are run by families and it is not uncommon to find a total of five people managing the process from harvesting to packaging. This salt will be found on the finest tables across Japan and as an example of an ancient way that remains alive today.